Welcome back you are watching Storyboard. Tata Starbucks which has completed a decade of operations in India announced its first reserve store in the country in Mumbai this week. Starbucks reserve store aims to elevate the coffee experience of the brand by introducing an intimate multi-sensor coffee experience to customers. On the sidelines of this launch I caught up with Michael Conway the group president for international and channel development at Seattle based Starbucks and spoke to him about Starbucks Reserve how mature is the Indian coffee market and how has the 50-50 JB between Starbucks and Tata consumer products panned out in India so far and way forward for the brand listen in Michael welcome to CNBC TV 18 great to be here Michael 10 years of Starbucks in India and you are bringing your reserve to the country uh, can you give us more details on what is the kind of experience that we will uh, get out of this reserve? Well, first of all, again, great to be here with you on such an incredible occasion, 10 years in India. And for Starbucks, it starts with coffee. It's all about coffee. And reserve is something that we have in all of our regions around the world. And what reserve does is allows us to take our coffee craft and push it to the limits. So we look for small lot coffees. We use that to begin to experiment around with different roast curves. And then we push even further by trying through different roast methods like, or brewing methods like you see here. And what it does is it begins to introduce customers to a whole different kind of coffee experience. And for a market like India, where we've been for 10 years with our core stores, um, we've been introducing people to Starbucks, introducing people to coffee, introducing people to the experience of connecting over coffee. And now, 10 years later, I couldn't think of a better way to start to elevate the conversation around coffee than to introduce reserve. How mature is uh, the India market to get this reserve experience? So uh, India from a coffee perspective is still, I would say, relatively low consumption when you compare it to some of the Western markets like the US, like in Europe. Um, and it is more of a tea market than it is a coffee market. With that said, what we've seen is that over the last 10 years, coffee consumption here has grown almost nearly double. Now it's still relative to the other markets, not as large, but that growth suggests that more and more customers are coming. Uh, and as we think then towards the future, something like reserve starts to begin to elevate the conversation. And then as we start to accelerate, so we have 300 stores now, we're in 34 uh, cities. Uh, actually 36 cities and what that allows us to do is to again introduce Starbucks to even more uh, more customers and start to introduce coffee to more customers so um, still small market from a coffee consumption per capita but the growth and the acceleration and what we're seeing would suggest that there is so much more potential here as more and more customers experience. This is also 10 years of JV between the Tata Group and the Starbucks Corporation. If you can share with us how, did, how has that panned out and how and what did it help Starbucks Corporation achieve? Yes, that's, a, that's actually a great question because for us as we grow internationally, and we're now in over 84 markets around the world, many of them are in partnership. And so when we uh, look to enter a new market, we look for that right partner, the partner that understands the local market, uh, but importantly, the, mar the, the partner that shares our vision and, and, and our vision and our mission and our values. And so when I think about Tata, we couldn't have, couldn't have selected a better partner. We have uh, shared values in terms of the way we care about community, the way in which we care about our partners or our employees. And we've seen that play out over the 10 years. Also, if I think about the shared commitment and investment to, to bring in more people to coffee and experiencing coffee, we have a shared value there. And so that partnership has been, been very important for us. So it is a 50-50 joint venture. We don't have uh, many of those around the world. And so that, that again speaks to the shared commitment and investment and potential that we see here. And, uh, and I continue to be excited about partnering with Tata and what we can do together. Yes, and what do you think of the Starbucks experience in India? Oh, well, uh, I've had the chance to be here uh, uh, for almost a week now. And what I see is first and foremost, uh, coffee passion. That's important. I said earlier, it starts with coffee and our baristas are learning and excited about coffee. We have something called a coffee master where you 
Uh, it's almost like a coffee university and you get a black apron and what that does is it gets you closer to coffee and it also helps you explain coffee to customers even more. So we have over 800 coffee masters here across the country out of our three, th almost 3,500 uh, partners. And so that's a large percentage of, of baristas and partners who know and love coffee. So I see coffee and coffee passion. Um, I also see ultimately the Starbucks experience. And, you, and, and what that is for us is both the experience of the store. And so I've seen just wonderfully designed and beautiful stores where customers want to come in, sit, talk, connect over coffee. We call that the third place. But the key ingredient to the coffee experience and the Starbucks experience is the way our partners connect with our customers. And so that's what I've seen is a deep connection and ability to try to get to know each customer, to make them feel at home, to make them feel welcome, to help them in their journey as they discover coffee, to suggest. Yeah. And that together creates the perfect Starbucks experience. So uh, for me, the Starbucks experience is alive and well here in India, and that gives me great confidence in the potential and, we have and, ahead. And your thoughts on uh, the Starbucks positioning in the India market? Um, so our positioning within India is fairly consistent with our positioning around the world, and that's what makes Starbucks special. When people uh, travel, and even if you don't travel and you've heard of Starbucks, you, you want to experience and expect what you get in other markets. And so um, our positioning is fairly consistent, but one of the things we're doing here, and we do in all our markets, is to ensure that we bring what people expect for Starbucks, but then look for those ways to customize and tailor for the unique market. Hence, we have the right partner that can help us figure that out. We've been experimenting around with uh, different menu items, food items, to make sure that uh, it's as inviting as it can possibly be. And I think we're getting that, uh, we're getting that right. Also, Michael, if you can share, how are the inflationary headwinds impacting your plans and growth strategy for the markets? Well, like all global companies, we are uh, not immune to some of the inflationary challenges. So if you look at um, you know, some of our input costs, et cetera, we are, are certainly feeling that. But from a customer perspective, we're actually seeing that our brand is quite resilient and uh, our, we are not seeing any uh, challenges right now from a customer demand perspective. And I think that speaks to the power of the brand, the power of the customization, uh, the way in which the customers come to Starbucks, not just for the coffee, but for the relationship, for the experience. And so, uh, so far, our brand has been fairly resilient. Yeah, and, uh, you know, this is an experience in its own, the reserve experience. Uh, if you can share with us, what is the kind of budget earmarked for this uh, reserve uh, in the coming months? Well, so this is our, our first store here in the market, and um, we haven't decided exactly how many more and how we want to budget around that. Uh, I think our focus is on the customer and bringing the customers in and, and having them enjoy and experience. And um, for something like this, we're less focused on you know, exactly what that budget is and what the future is, but really more around uh, ensuring that we create the right experience. And I think as we start to learn, because what we want to do is also learn, as we elevate the coffee experience, our customers, uh, are they appreciating it? Are they understanding it? As we attract more, I think that will help us understand how we want to then use and adjust our budget so that we can uh, introduce more customers to the reserve experience. Okay, and what are the key focus areas for the coming months? Well, for us, it's about uh, partners first. So we want to make sure that our partners are um, you know, continuing to be engaged and feel valued and, 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 and we uh, invest in their education. We invest in, um, uh, in making sure that they feel valued. Um, we want to invest in our stores, so we're constantly looking to elevate our stores. And as we think to and look to invest in, in open new stores, we want to make sure that we have the right stores and the right experience for our customers. Um, and then the final area is actually around convenience. We're finding that customers want many more convenient experiences. And convenient comes in a lot of different ways. It comes in the ability to order ahead. It comes in the ability to get delivery. It comes even in maybe drive through We don't have many drive throughs but we're experimenting around with that. Uh, and it comes in exactly uh, the phones. Everyone has phones in the digital experience, and we're trying to create a more customized and personalized experience with our, with our customers. Uh, and so through digital, through loyalty, and introducing more people to Starbucks in that way. So we want to make it more convenient. So those are a few of the areas that we're investing in. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us for this discussion. Thank you so much. It is time for a short break. On the other side, we are in a special discussion on the upcoming 